Don't do now. We don't talk. If I want to collect money, I go collect better money. I need to collect change. And I hope I need to hide down. I need to hide down. I just said, no, she asked me how much you collect. My my former commander said, if you want to collect money, collect the one way. Me, I go feel given small if the case boss. No, the one way me, I go talk. He said, collect better money, he go follow me top and he go defend me. So, no, all this change where they give me, and they collect change. How much they there? How much they there? Talk her out now. What do for for for? Are they talk her? If you know it, I will tell you. I'm a customer. I'm a market with this. Yeah. Now here they said. The former inspector, uh, Richard Gilley, has ceased to be a member of the Nigerian Police Force as from today. And after this, we are going to decrypt him. We are going to hand over to the Commissioner of Police, a Kogi State, to carry on with other prosecution as the case may be. I put you uh, active TV. Should I put it for you or you would like to do it yourself? Mm, put it. Thank you. Mm. The sister in the Lord. Mm. I'm really happy you are here. Uh, Honestly speaking, I'm very, very happy you are here. Me too, I'm happy to see you. For a happy long to... time, we've been chatting and talking, we're mostly face to face. It's not easy. There's a, there's a, there's a dead woman in the house. What? Dead woman? In this house? Is she the owner of the Jeep that's parked outside? Yes, yes. So what happened? How? How? I, I, How? I, 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 I can't, I don't know, I can't begin to explain it, but I, I you what? I, I just, I gave up sleeping pills. I just, I gave her, to, I gave her sleeping pills to sleep and she didn't, she didn't wake up. Don't tell me you killed somebody. I didn't kill any, no, 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 no. I didn't kill anybody. I didn't kill anybody. I don't know. I just gave her sleeping pills. I, 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 she was, she was here. I gave up sleeping pills, and she didn't, and she, she didn't, she didn't wake up again. I, don't, I don't know how. I, it, that's nothing to do with me. Hello, hello, Liz turn. Your mother has just been kidnapped. Please put my mother on the phone. Please. Please, I need to speak with my mother right now. Please. We demand a ransom of 5 million naira from you. And if you don't pay, you... I'm sorry, you may not see your mother again. Do you understand? Put my mother on the phone right now. I need to speak to her. I need to hear her voice. I am relocating. I've sold the house. And I would like you guys to come with me. Why did you sell the house? Why would I come with you? Where are you relocating to, sir? Back to the village. But that, this is not fair. This is not good. Me, I can't go anywhere with you. We are using modern day technology to find the abductors. And so far, we are, we are almost getting to the root of the matter. Of, officer, officer, since the last time we spoke to the kidnappers, mm -hmm. asking to speak to our mother, Pressuring them. They're no longer talking to us. That's why we came to report to you. You've got to be here with us because investigation takes time. Gentlemen, who is Joy to? She's my friend. Joy is my, my friend. friend. Yeah. It's your friend. Is him. You, is... Will you follow us to our office for more on the interrogation? Me? For what? I mean, if we reach okay. office, we know. No. It's just an invitation, not an arrest. So when you get to me. office, we know more better. Mr. Gideon Emmanuel, can you tell me the truth, sir? Before God and man, I swear, I, I know nothing about it. You're not telling the truth because you are accused of an offense of kidnapping. A grave offense, grievous offense like that. You kidnap me? Yes, yes, of course. You're not telling yes. the truth so that I can find a way out for you. Sir, I will tell you the truth, nothing but the truth. I, I, I was never part of any kidnap. Tell him what it's, you know. It's, it's all about my brother. He what bro, part? What bro. part the father brother played? He called me. I came to his house. As I was when I got to him, uh, to his house, I met a car parked uh, right in front of his house. I was just asking him like, what what what's the jeep? What's it about? And, and all of that. I, don't you know the jeep belongs to the woman? Yes, to Thailand. 
Where is the gem from? He told me he bought it actually. That was what happened. So he he now took the gym. What? He took it to uh, uh, Panel Bita for for it to be repented and worked on. What that, is the that name of that your brother? You are talking about uh, it. His name is Johnson. Uh, you are the Panel Bita. Yes, sir. What do you know about uh, this matter? Actually, I was in a sh working shop. So I, this man came in, and there's Mr. Johnson, asked me that I should repaint his car for him. And I, I asked him, well, before I do this, give me, your, give me the document, the document of the, he said, I should don't worry that he has the paper that I should go ahead with it. What you are supposed to ask from the person that brings up for you is that you ask for the document of the vehicle so that you know whether it is genuine or not. And the vehicle you are painting belongs to another person. And you are changing the color. What is wrong with the, the color on the vehicle? You do care to ask? Yes, I asked him. He said, uh, he said, want it. He just, just decided I want to change it to okay. sir. Anyway, I did this you. Yes, sir. Just have to look for this uh, Johnson. I arrange the uh, detectives. All right, sir. You get uh, approval from the state CID. Okay. Hmm? Yes, to travel to Imo State okay, and uh, get uh, this uh, Mr. Johnson for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Go with them. Thank you. Members of the public, I want to urge them to always partner with the police and to shun crime that crime does not pay. Quick money making be avoided. Our children, the activities be closely monitored and also be told anywhere we have our children that they should be law abiding. And when they see something, they should always say something. He leads the police to the place where Mary Jane's body was dumped. Mary Jane's family is invited to the police station and the news of the event is broken to them. So far, we'll be able to recover the Madras car. That's wonderful, officer. Thank you very much. We'll be able to arrest four people connected with the abduction of your mother. Okay, okay. That's good news. There is a particular guy. Okay. A prime suspect among, the, among those arrested. His name is Johnson. Johnson. Johnson Emmanuel. We don't know any Johnson. He has killed you. Officer, 
arrest us, so what's not? The thing is, since we, are, since we were arrested, the bad guys, they are, you know, they are going to pay for it. We have been able to restore normalcy and safety on the roads leading to Bini in particular, especially Aochi Ekpoma, Bini Highway, has been safely restored. And in the last seven weeks, no record of kidnapping or violent criminality in form of robbery has been recorded there. The same thing is applicable to Lagos, Bini Expressway. On the 16th of May 2020, we received a complaint from one Chinedu Obonaya that um, the mother left the house where they reside in Gwagwalada on the 14th of May 2020, being a Thursday at about um, 10 o'clock in the morning. And that since that day, they've not heard anything about her, neither have they seen her. So, but on that 16th, at about, at the early hours of the morning, between 6, 7 a.m. in the morning, so they tried to call her number again. And when they called at that hour, a male picked up the phone and said that um, the mother is with them, that she has been kidnapped. The people that picked up the phone as at that morning said they were going to call back again by 12 a.m. That's been Sunday now, that's 17th May 2020. Um, that they are giving Wednesday, being the 20th of May 2020, as the deadline for them to gather the ransom and bring it for them. That up until they bring the ransom, they are not going to hear from the woman until they bring the ransom. So this went on. By that 12 a.m., they called. Um, the next day again, by 10 a.m., they called, I think. Then after that, Nobody heard from them again. So even the Wednesday they gave us a deadline, the, the, the 20th came and passed, nobody heard from them. It was at that point that um, we launched a full-fledged investigation into the case. On the 23rd of May 2020, being on the Saturday, you know, God willing, we arrested one Gideon, Emmanuel. After interrogating Gideon, we got to find out that the vehicle in question was taken to a panel beater to, to change the color of the vehicle. You know, so on asking him further questions, he disclosed or confessed that his brother, Johnson Emmanuel, was the person that um, took the vehicle to that place, that Johnson told him that he bought the vehicle and that um, he did a job uh, and he bought a, a Highlander that he's trying to change the color that they're doing some repairs on the vehicle. So upon that confession, we proceeded to the panel vita where the vehicle was being defaced and we recovered the vehicle. We now got to equally find out from Gideon that Johnson has already sold his house in Wumba and that he has relocated to Imo State. We arranged ourselves and we proceeded to Imo State. On getting to Imo State, luckily for us, we were able to arrest um, the Johnson in question. Not up till then, we never knew where the hostage herself was. But on the, upon the arrest of Johnson, they now confessed. I know this woman from Facebook. And uh, I, from Facebook, we, we, we started. After one week in Tava, then I, I got her number. We started on WhatsApp. And definitely, that WhatsApp, we have been chat know ourselves as a friend, uh, WhatsApp friend or Facebook friend. At the time, I confirmed she has, she's a blessed woman. 
I begin to serve as a member of the church, begging her for something to help me. The first money when I don't when I opened that uh, car wash, I don't have money for generator. She came that day, she gave me, she dashed me forty thousand naira. Anything I ask her, she always help me and do it. She do for, she helped me. This woman is very, very good. She has never done anything bad to me. I did ask her that I want to see her, that it's not something that we talk on phone. We need to see. She was promising me, say that definitely we should come. She, she won't have chance. I know that she always she do fashion and design. Them. She don't have chance. Then that day I was, only time I call her on phone, I was begging her, let us see. And then I said, even though you want at least let me see, you. I know she was promising me that day, fortunately, that she made chance to see, to come. Johnson on his own, when we asked him questions, he told us that um, he happened to know the woman for two years. He wanted the woman to sleep over in his house, and because of that, he had to drug her. You know, so, and um, he didn't know he gave her overdose. He said the sleeping pills, what is the name of the medicine? He said he doesn't know the name of the drug, that he just went to a chemist and told the chemist that his brother has an arm injury, that um, he would need something and cannot sleep, that he will need something to make him sleep. The pharmacist now give him some, some drugs, which is about 10 tablets, that he crushed the whole 10 tablets and put it inside the Hollandia yogurt that he gave the woman that the woman drank the thing and he never knew the woman had died. Thank you. Mm. A sister in the Lord. I ran in the morning, then I called her. She was still sleeping. Then I went to buy bread and the tea to prepare. I called her, I called her. She's not where I said maybe she's enjoying the sleep. Then I went that morning, I went out that morning. Then I go back to my wife interval. She was still sleeping, I call her. When I confirmed that she's dead, it was afternoon when I came back. I call her, she started to be stiffy, cool. Then I got fear. I don't really know what to do. That time fear was so I went out and locked the door. I ran in the night, I came back. That's why that makes me to call down my brother. Then he called me when I picked the call. He was like, uh, we are my son in the house. Uh, he said, please, that I should just crawl down to his house now. He want to tell me something. When I came to the house, my brother, his house, that night, he was like asking me if I come with anybody. I said, no. He said, I should come inside. And he said, uh, don't want neighbors to know what is happening. You don't want to take the brothers. I said, uh-uh. But you shouldn't be, I shouldn't be the one to you, to, you should call for this. Now, what do you want me to do? He said he don't know. I said, now, what do you want me to do for you? He now said, okay, that he have an uh, idea that he wants just to bury the body at the backyard. I said, no, that should not be a good idea. He said, I should don't worry. I said, that question, I said, ah, for me, he couldn't have involved me in this. Already, he was, he, he don't, he have already, I don't know if he's be shit or what. Because I didn't see the face, he was dragging the body out. I couldn't shout, I couldn't do anything. I was there when the incident, everything happened. When he pushed the body into the sucked away, and I ran out. to go for a massive much higher in the police, but it will be a problem for me. I would I say everything I want to make him do now. I say I suggest where we can call a working people to come and dig down in the here. I would say hand no day. Yes, everything you think will suggest for me to put it in that motor, drive it as I may in the morning. People will uh, uh, locate the motor and see the woman. I say security food for this street and uh, uh, put People, they here. The more you enter here, this will be a very serious problem for me. And I, I to be pleasing. I don't want to enter into problem. I said, what do you want me to do? I said, what I want to do now, if is to be to call these people, or to bring them inside my sock away. So my brother, I beg him, he helped me. Then 
We'll bring him. That's how I put him inside that list. Uh, in the same case, Gideon equally confessed to the pony that after burying the woman or dumping the woman's body inside the pit, that the Saint Johnson told him that he wanted to convert the woman's high nada to become his. When he came to pick up the vehicle, that was when he was arrested. And upon his arrest, he was arrested with his brother, Success Emmanuel, who we believe from all indications and all their actions and from all their communications that he also knows about this incident. How I was arrested was over in the village when he has been telling everybody that his vehicle is arriving, his Highlander Jeep. So that very morning, we were praying, like family morning prayer. He woke me up that the vehicle is closer, that we should go and welcome them at a particular junction. I followed him, according to his pleading, I followed him. So we got to the junction, so he gave me 20,000 naira. I collected the money and I stood at the junction, waiting for the vehicle. So while waiting for the vehicle, like it's not even up to 10 minutes or whatever, I just saw like, where there was a war. Just like that, I was like thinking maybe they're looking for all these courtes and my face looked like one or whatever. So I raised up my hand, I was like, sir, what did I do? I was asking the person that came to arrest me. Why go in? I was hearing their question. They were throwing questions at him. I was not even listening. All I was doing was just praying. We got a call from the IGP RRT that we should come down to the office. When we got there, they told us that one, the vehicle that she drove out has been recovered, that the culprits actually changed the documents of the vehicle, they resprayed the vehicle, and they even had plans of moving the vehicle out of Abuja. And also they informed us that the culprits, those behind her disappearance, they've been apprehended as well. We were happy. So the next thing we were asking was, so where is she? And that was when we received the unfortunate news that they took her life. From further information given to us from the police, we actually realized that even before the calls for the ransom started coming. They've already, they've taken her life already. And that was really heartbreaking. On the 4th of uh, June, 2020, you know, upon all their confessions, you know, relying on all their confessions, we proceeded to that their residence in Mumba, Lugoguma, Abuja, where the Sokaway pit was open and behold, the woman was, um, found inside the soccer with pit. So she was exhumed and um, deposited in the um, uh, University of Abuja Teaching Hospital in Babalara for autopsy and uh, for the investigation. On Saturday, that's two days after the exhumation, I went straight to Facebook. I went to her profile. So I said, since they met her on Facebook, let me go through her friends list. Now, I wanted to know more about this supposed um, Johnson Emmanuel. Let me see his profile, let me, like, uh, but unfortunately, after spending time going through her friend's list, there was no Johnson Emmanuel there. So I said, maybe he's using a different name on Facebook. I said to go through the pictures of those on her friend's list. And still, there was nobody looking like him. It's painful. You know, as a young man, when you think about your mom, you just think about how you want to repay all the faith and effort that she has put into making sure that you turn out awesome. Irrespective of what I become tomorrow, irrespective of how big I get, I can never repay that because the corporate has taken away that from me. 
I regret a lot because even when I made my statement, I said I have learned lesson. Even if my father himself called me in issue like that now, I will be the one to report him to police. I really regret this a lot. Because I wish I know that very night I could have been the one to involve police. I just pray to God to just help me and my brother. I think uh, in this case, one has just have to be mindful. One don't have to trust his brother or his, even his parents. Because someone you think is a brother can actually put you in a mess. One shouldn't be lured into what you think is not good. You shouldn't be lured into something that that is of such that can tarnish one's image. And I still have to tell brothers out there, if they want to do evil, they should do it alone and take their cross. Involving a brother, it's something that if one had to lose, you're trying to bring a, an internal heart bleeding to the parents. The parents are very aged that a kind of shock can even take their lives. 